Welcome to White Chocolate Source, my name is Harry. In this video, I will be installing Ubuntu Linux on my Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. And it currently runs Windows 11. So, let's start. If you are installing Linux on your Surface device, the first thing we need to check is the compatibility matrix. So, open the GitHub page for Surface Linux. Then, let's go to Feature Matrix link. Our laptop here is the Surface Laptop 3 and it is equipped with an Intel CPU. So the code for this is SL3i, which is Intel. Okay, scroll down to Surface Laptops. As you can see on our table here, for SL3i, is only the sensors are not supported so which I think is the Windows Hello sensor but good thing the touchscreen and pen are supported and the rest of the hardware okay let's move on to our next step let's search for Ubuntu desktop so Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS is the one that we are going to use for our laptop. So click download. Next, let's plug in our USB then open Rufus. Select our ISO file. For the partition, we need to select GPT because that's the one supported by our laptop. File system, we keep it at FAT32 then click start. Okay, let's just fast forward and move on to the next step. For the hardware, we need our Surface laptop, keyboard and mouse, our bootable USB, and since the Surface laptop only have one USB port, we will need a USB hub. Okay, let's plug in our keyboard and mouse and USB to the USB hub. And we are now ready to install Linux. Let's power on our laptop. Then we press F4 or the volume up so we can select our boot menu. Then make sure on boot configuration, the priority is the USB storage. Okay, let's exit and reboot. Now let us select try or install Ubuntu. And select install Ubuntu keyboard day out just give it as English US then let's connect to our Wi-Fi and continue we will just keep it as default which is normal installation and download updates okay continue for installation type we select erase disk and install Ubuntu Go to Advanced Features and select Use LVM with the new Ubuntu installation. Then click Install Now. Verify the changes and click Continue. For the country, we will select Macau and continue. Next, let us fill up the user information here, then continue. Okay, it will now start the installation. This will take some time, so I will fast forward the video. Let's restart the PC now. Remove the USB stick and press enter. Then select Ubuntu OS. Okay, we have boot up to Ubuntu. Let's input our password. 
Let's go back on our feature matrix to check again what works and won't work on our laptop with this Ubuntu setup. So here for the keyboard and touchpad, it says that it requires Linux 5.13 plus or Linux Surface Kernel. So this is already supported on our Ubuntu 22.04 version since it is using Linux 5.19 kernel. But for the touchscreen and pen, it requires a separate install of Linux Surface Kernel. So our touchscreen won't work at the moment, so let's test other functions first. Function buttons are working. The camera is also working, but the touchscreen doesn't work, so let's move on to installing the Linux Surface Kernel. Okay, let us record our screen here using GNOME built-in screen recorder. Then let's open the browser to search for the guide on how to install Linux Surface Kernel. Here we will use this guide to manually install the repository. So let's just follow. Okay, let's copy the commands and paste it to our terminal. After update, we can now install Linux Surface Kernel. Next is we need to install the secure boot key. Let's copy the command. After we reboot this, we will need to enroll the key. So based on the installation, the password will be surface. Okay, let's update grub and reboot. Upon boot up, there will be a blue pop-up where it asks to enroll MOK or machine owner key. So let's select enroll MOK. Then continue and select yes. For password, we input surface, then reboot. Then let's go to our UEFI option to enable the secure boot. Since secure boot is disabled, let's enable it and select Microsoft and third party CA. Then let's reboot the device. Then we go to advanced options and select the correct OS which is Ubuntu with Linux Surface.
Okay, now we have successfully installed Ubuntu Linux on our Surface laptop. I hope you get something from this video. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. And for sure, I will continue to upload on this Linux Surface journey. So thank you and see you on the next one.